The diagonal filling stitch is a nice embroidery stitch that looks like it might be two rows of diagonal back stitch, but it's actually easier to do than that. Today, I'm gonna to show you how. Welcome to Eva's Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojogi, and embroidery. So diagonal filling stitch is a hand embroidery stitch that looks like it's two rows of back stitch stitch on a diagonal line. So I've used that as an embellishment on this Hardinger bookmark. You can see it there. And I've used it on this Hardinger piece. You can see the diagonal lines going around the center diamond. That's diagonal fill stitch. So in those examples, the stitching is not done under tension. It's designed to lay flat on the fabric and not pull the base fabric. So that's one option for doing that. But if you pull the stitches as you're stitching, then it becomes drawn thread work or a more open work technique. So both of them are stitched the same way. The only difference is tension. So here's how you would stitch that. So for this sample, I'm using a size 12 pearl cotton and I'm using a waist knot. So I'll put the waist knot in the front over here and then I'll come up in where I am beginning the line and the diagonal line will move up like this. So I'm gonna start by counting up four threads, three, four, and then over. And I will Put in my diagonal stitch there and then I'll count down four threads and I'll come up here and you can see that this is also four threads from here so this should be a right angle triangle and this would be a square if you can imagine and the first couple of um, stitches are the trickiest and then it gets easier to count. So I'll count four over from here. One, two, three, four. And then you can either do the stab method, so you go down, up, down, up, or you can just slide it over like this. And now I'm going four threads above here. And I'm coming back down to that spot. Oh, and try not to get caught on the top of the hoop. So then I'll just keep um, alternating, going back this way, this way. And notice I am not pulling these stitches tight. I'm just leaving them at a, a gentle tension. So that's what one row of diagonal filling stitches looks like. And when we see it on the back, we can see it's a little stair step line. Now, if you're just using it as an accent, you might want to have just two lines. If you're filling in a space, you might want to have more lines. And then in that case, you would come down and just do another set of two lines um, parallel to this and you could fill whatever shape you have. So this version of diagonal filling stitch is nice if you want two diagonal lines as an embellishment with harding or embroidery or something like that. But this same stitch can be used in pulled thread embroidery. So that is a technique where you're actually pulling the tension really tight on your stitching to create decorative holes in your fabric. So I'm going to show you it's the same way to do that. It's just with a totally different tension. So I'm going to start my thread in the same way with a uh, waist knot. And I'll come over for the first stitch. But I'm going to be pulling pulling all the stitches. Okay. 
So now every time I take a stitch, I am pulling them quite tightly. And as I'm setting up the stitch, I'm just holding on to the edge of the thread because it helps to maintain the tension in the stitches that have already been made. So we can see this is a totally different look, but it's exactly the same technique. So it depends if you want a smooth, set of decorative lines or if you want this more open work they're stitched in the same way and they would just be used in different pieces and you can see on the back again this one looks like stair steps but with holes in between just because of the amount of pulling that we've done with the thread so you can see both of these options whether it's a smooth line or whether it's drawn tightly to create open work, they can be great additions to your next counted thread embroidery project. So have fun using diagonal filling stitch. For more embroidery, tutorials, tips, and inspiration, be sure to check out evadestudio.com.